I just want to relax at the end of the day. It's hard for me to do so, so let me do so with a glass of wine. And that became a daily choice. Once again, a daily habit. The action was repeated over and over and over again, and then it's almost like a craving. Hello, and welcome to the Business of Happiness podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Taryn McCarthy, and today is going to be such a great day. Just look out there. I don't mind what you are looking at right now, whether it's a gorgeous, sunny, beautiful, tropical location, and the clouds are cleared, you are staring at the blue sky, or if it is a hurricane, today has the potential to be a great day. Everything you do, whether it's your learning of things that you don't want, you know, maybe things will happen in this day that will remind you, oh yeah, I don't want that in my life. Man, that's a good day. It brought you clarity. It brought you focus. It brought you conviction of what matters in your life. Maybe you have a moment today where you interact with somebody that feels uncomfortable. More clarity, more learning. Every opportunity in every day has the possibility to make this a great day. This is what we're living for, friends. We are here to live this life. Let's have the intention of making every day great. You know, this morning I woke up with a laundry list of things to do. I had some last minute things interrupting on my schedule. My kids have some needs that I didn't anticipate. Today had an opportunity to be absolutely overwhelming and out of control. And I thought, you know what? Today's the day I learn how to refocus on what matters, how to say no to certain things, how to make sure that I'm always paying attention to what's most important to my values, focusing on my values. Today is going to be a great day because although there are going to be challenges, I'm going to get even greater clarity on what matters to me. And today, something that matters to me is sharing with you this tool. And what this is, is the power of tiny choices, of the smallest choices. The smallest choices actually make the biggest impact in your life. And what I did in this morning's practice, when I woke up slightly overwhelmed, feeling my breath shallow, I turned to my husband in bed and I said to him, Killian, I just have to unload a little bit of what I'm expecting today. And I could hear as I was seeping into the negativity, I was hearing the anxiety in my voice. And I thought, whew, slow down, sister. This life is not meant for that. Today is going to be a great day. I choose every day to have the perspective that it's going to be great. So let's get curious, Taryn. What is going to be great about this day? How is this day going to be great? I'm done with just surviving, my friends. It's time for me to thrive. And I know that you feel the same way. This is only one life to live. And in this life, we've got to make the best of it. It's the joy of making the best of it. It's the pleasure of making the best of it. It's the fun of making the best of it. We just get to choose. And it's those little choices that really, really matter. Okay, all my dental friends out there and non-dental should know this too. The daily choice of flossing, the smallest, most insignificant little thing. Nobody knows if you're flossing. Nobody knows. We don't have flossing parties online. There's no flossing challenge, like the plank challenge. I, wh why is this never taken off? <laughs> why, why are there no flossing challenges out there? But it's true. Nobody knows if you are choosing to floss on a daily basis. Your hygienist knows, but you only see her twice a year. Nobody else knows if you floss your teeth or not. And yet that daily choice of flossing has research-backed enormous impact on your health and your longevity and the quality of life you lead. Seriously, your choice every day or whether or not to floss matters more than you know. And it's not that one time you floss or that one six-month period in your life that you floss, every day you have a choice and nobody is there to support you and to insist you do it. 
We don't show up at the gym and say, all right, girls, who flossed today? <laughs> like we do with drinking your water or remind each other, floss and mind your business. No, nobody knows. And yet it has such enormous impact. Studies have shown it's directly correlated to heart disease and diabetes. And just recently, new studies came out investigating how it's related to Alzheimer's and depression. It's such an important part of our self-care regimen. And it's such a small daily choice. But it's arguably those small daily choices that have even greater impact in our lives. Greater impact than the big ones. I mean, we think that those big choices we made in our lives, and many of them were decades ago, we think we kind of sealed our fate. We set our future in stone, and it's not true. We think, you know, I chose a career path. That was a big deal choice. Sometimes we look back and we regret it. Those big choices, they can be made again. Even who you choose to marry does not have to be set in stone. We tell ourselves it has to be, but it's not true. It's the tiny daily choices that have greater impact. Because small choices become small actions. And small repeated actions become habits. And habits are the things that become our way of life. So what we don't even notice is that just by quietly flossing every day, just making it a part of your habit pattern, by doing it before you're even fully awake, or by doing it on the way to work, you're actually impacting your life in a greater way, and it took no effort at all. Just that daily choice, just that last minute, should I put sugar in my coffee or not? Those choices, if that matters to you. The daily choices of, should I choose victimization or choose power over the choices and in the quality of my day? Ooh, that's a big one. Another one that we don't all high-five each other at the gym in the morning for. What did you choose to wake up with today? Did you choose optimism or pessimism? That seems like such a small choice. And sometimes we think, uh-uh, Taryn, that's out of my control. I can't control what happens in the world around me. And this is where I argue, yes, although you cannot influence the events outside of you, although arguably we can, you can't control the events outside of you. You can't control the people around you. You do always have a choice of perspective. And when I started this hour, I started out saying today's going to be a great day. I have an intention of starting every podcast that way on purpose. It's a choice that I make for every podcast because I'd love to infuse you with that concept. I'd love for you to take that on in your life. Why not? Why can every day not be a great day? If you're listening to this podcast, chances are you didn't get into business to be miserable. The problem is that people feel that if their business gets busier, if they start becoming more successful, that happiness will eventually set in. But it can actually get worse. This is why I created the Business of Happiness Prosperity Coaching. In this one-on-one -on -one coaching, we look at how to redefine success on your terms and refine the joy and the passion in your dream. Visit me at thebizofhappiness.com and become the happiest business owner you know. I'm not saying that we can't have bad days. I'm not saying to ignore the uncomfortable. In fact, we have a choice to face the uncomfortable and walk through it. Just like Dante's Inferno, he didn't get to the other side by avoiding. He walked right through. In fact, those can be our greatest teachers. Something like anger. We tend to avoid anger. It's not fun. I hate being angry. I hate seeing that side of myself that gets angry at my children or angry at someone I love. It's such an uncomfortable place to be. It's not a value system that I, that I hold true to myself. I don't consider myself an angry person. But man, when anger wells up, I better take a hard look at it. 
that's a choice. That's one of those small choices. I can choose to stuff it down. I can choose to distract myself with work. There was a time in my life I distracted myself with alcohol. I was numbing myself out to what was really so painful. I was just pushing through. Sometimes we use skills that have become strengths in our lives, also from building them up slowly. Being a workaholic didn't come easily either. It took a daily choice, those small choices. Sometimes we make choices that are bad for ourselves. That small daily choice for me once in my life was, well, I just want to relax at the end of the day. It's hard for me to do so, so let me do so with a glass of wine. And that became a daily choice. Once again, a daily habit. The action was repeated over and over and over again, and then it's almost like a craving, right? And that became a lifestyle. So our choices can be negatively impacting our lives as well. And those are the ones that are hardest to tweak out and to change. But they are the smallest ones. And sometimes we can alter our choices by making it a little bit easier for ourselves. How can I make this easy? Things like, I'll just put my sneakers, my running sneakers, right next to my bed. For a while there, I was getting out of exercising. So then I allowed myself to just jump on the treadmill in my PJs. I just eliminated that one extra step of changing into workout clothes. Made all the difference in the world. So I could get right back into making that choice on a daily basis. Because it's those daily choices that are most impactful. In a relationship, in a conversation, do you choose fear or joy, fear or love in your interactions with one another? Because once you start choosing defensiveness and fear and lack, it becomes a habit pattern and now it becomes ingrained in your speech and in your actions and in your lifestyle. So if you found yourself in a place of not finding joy and happiness on a daily basis, I encourage you to look at your small choices. Start with just one. We talked in two episodes ago, we talked about simplicity and the power of simplicity, of narrowing down our options. Those choices can be very simple, and that's why I love the idea of choosing fear or love. Because in every action we take, it's really one or the other. We're either trying to avoid pain or embrace enormous power and love and life. Simplifying our choices makes it easier to make those little minor choices, to make positive minor choices. I can think of many times in my life where the choices I've made, the small ones, negatively impacted my life. Whether it was to just choose to you know, numb out to social media scrolling at the end of the night instead of putting my daughter to bed. That daily choice adds up. Every day it becomes a little easier to choose, sweetheart, just put yourself to bed. Every day it just becomes a little easier to numb out and scroll. And then, man, as so many of you know, it impacts your sleep pattern. For me, it's devastating. If I'm on any kind of cell phone, iPad, computer for the last hour before I go to bed, I am guaranteeing myself I will be up at night. And that's a small choice, but makes a huge impact on my sleep and subsequently on my next day. Because when we're deprived of sleep, we can't make those good choices. Those choices become more and more difficult to make. In fact, it's those small choices that need you to be at your very best. The small choices can be the most difficult ones. The big choices, buying a house, choosing a profession, choosing somebody to marry, huge big choices, moving to a new state or a new country, enormous choices that we think color our lives. But it's the small choices within. Because you could be married to the same person and have a completely different relationship based on your small choices. You could be living in the same city that you've chosen to, s to live in 
and have a completely different experience on a daily basis based on your choices of how you feel about it, based on your choices of your perception, based on the choices of your actions for that day. So I wanted to bring you this mini episode about choices. We've talked about it before, but it was very relevant in my life recently, and I thought I'd just have to highlight it again because sometimes we don't honor those small choices enough. And so take a moment to celebrate the small choices you've made that were so good for you. Instead of always focusing on the negative, let's focus on some of the positive things. Number one, you made a choice to listen to this podcast. Bravo! Just a few minutes out of your day to get a new perspective. That means you care about your growth. It means you care about your personal development. Oh, even more important in my eyes, you care about your happiness. And choosing to focus on your happiness is everything. Because when you feel good is when you can have great relationships. When you care about how you feel and you feel good is when you can take action on exploring this world in every aspect of it, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And it's those small choices that allow us to do so. Well, as you go into your day today, pay attention to those small choices. When are you making ones that are for your better or perhaps are detrimental to your future? And how can you make new choices that are better for you, small choices in your daily patterns? I'd love for you to let me know what those are. Send me a message. Send me a DM. You can find me on Instagram or on Facebook. And if you want to, please join our Facebook Hive, our Business of Happiness Hive. It's a private Facebook group, and I have all kinds of additional content on there for you and new resources. If you do choose to be on Facebook, choose the, the groups that will empower you to feel your very best. Make that a positive choice in your life. And I hope the rest of the day you find enormous joy. And this day is a great day for you because we have that choice. And remember, my friend, when you feel good, that's when you can do good. So make a great choice to feel great about yourself today and share this episode with someone you love. Share this episode with somebody who you think will find enormous value to remind them of the power they have to make these little tiny choices to make enormous impact on their lives. As always, it's been a great conversation. I look forward to chatting with you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>